What's happening YouTube? How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Aquaporn with me, Steve. Bringing you my 46 gallon reef build. It's been over a year now. Just hit a year, March 12th. Not nearly as far as I'd like to be, but I can't complain. Strictly just fowler still. And that's because I've been messing around with the lighting system. Uh, if I can bring you up here, my lights are out and they're going to go out again once I pull it off. But I've been tweaking them out. I don't know if you'll be able to read this, but my whites are only at 23%, royal blues at 43%, regular blues are only at 5%, and then my UV are at 7%. Now we'll go back there and I'll turn them all back on. And this is what it looks like on the camera. Now it looks brighter than bright, but it's actually got a lot of blue in it. I think the blue is what messes with the camera a lot. And uh, it's not nearly as bright as it looks on camera, especially the sand bed. But I'm happy with where I'm at. I made some moves on my LED build. So before you used to only, like I'll choose white, you used to only be able to do, hit this one at a time, one push, one push. Well, I finally figured out where I can just hold it down and it'll eventually pull out all the white. Hold it down, white goes back up one at a time. Let's see if I can get royal blue would be better. I can kind of see it on the screen here. So, as you can see, just hold it down and it'll creep up. Same with if you go up by fives. And I wrote a little delay in there as well. So it just makes for easier blending. Because before you used to have to hit the enter button over here before you could move on to the next uh, color. Well now I can blend it really easy because I can move from color to color. And then I can get my the blend I want. And then I'll hit enter and that'll save it on EEPROM. Now say I'm, I've been sitting here goofing around so I want to get it back to the old settings that turns it completely off but you hit it again and it'll bring it back to the last time it was saved EEPROM this saves it here and that's in case the power or something goes out so let's get all these back to where they were but I was noticing this is the hardest part about a do-it-yourself type of thing I eventually want to get corals in here I mean it's been a year been a year since I've had, uh, you know, since I uh, turn it all off on me. So now it's all off. That's because uh, typically at this time of night they are off. But the hardest part I was saying about having a do-it-yourself lighting rig is you really don't know what your par is unless you have a par meter. Now I've been bleaching my carpet nem and I bleached my bubble tip anemone. Now those are hard indicators because they'll bleach if there's too little light or they'll bleach if there's too much light. So I'm going to have to just get some small frags and uh, and see where I can go from there because it actually has a lot of blue in it. That, that's without the uh, royal blue on at all. That's just white and regular blue. I believe the ultraviolet is on as well, and it is. There we go. There we go. Royal blue's back on now. And just see, you know, that's the biggest trouble I've been having is dialing it in. But I made the moves on that blending screen. It's going to be easier to blend colors. So I started out low, and I'll just work my way up. Right now, I am at, let's turn off again, 23% on whites, 43% on royal blue, 5% on regular true blues, and 7% on ultraviolet. So we'll see what I can get from there. I mean, it's definitely plenty of light, but that's, like I said, the hardest part is dialing it in. Do I have too much light? Do I have not enough light? 
And that's what I'm figuring out right now. Catch you all next time. Comment, rate, subscribe. This is a quick, brief update for you today.